Okay guys, today what we're going to look at is what's called factorizing. Okay, now you can see that we're talking about factors here. Factors mean a number that something can be divided by. Okay, we did discuss that previously. So factor is a number. It can also be a variable or variable, whatever. That something can be divided by. Okay, so that's what a factor is. All right, so for example, and again, we talked about this when we did square roots. If we have factors of 12, then we can have 3 and 4. We can have 2 and 6, we can have 1 and 12, and then we can have all the negatives of these. So negative 3 and negative 4, negative 2 and negative 6, and negative 1 and negative 12. If you multiply these together, so 3 times 4, you get 12. If you multiply minus 2 times minus 6, you get 12. This makes these factors. Okay, so when we factorize something, that means we are putting something into factors okay so we're turning something into its factors okay you've already been doing this with your square roots so remember for example when we had the square root of 12 and we simplified it we turned it into the square root of 3 times 4 all right what we then did is we said that's the square root of 3 times the square root of 4 which equals the square root of 4 is 2, so 2 root 3. This was factorizing 12. Uh, this was simplifying by factorizing. Okay, what we're going to do now is we are going to do this step here, turning it into something times something. Okay, so we're going to turn things into something times something. We're going to turn it into its factors. All right, now earlier on in the year we did expanding brackets. Okay, so for example, if I said to you that we had 2, 3x plus 4, and I asked you to expand those brackets, that would be, remember, we do 2 times 3x, which gives us 6x plus 2 times 4, which is 8. All right, and that is expanding brackets. So this is expanding And factorizing is just the opposite of expanding. Okay, so factorizing is the opposite. So factorizing is the opposite Okay, because what you can see here is that what we started off with was two things multiplied together to produce something. Okay, so we've started with two factors. Our factors were two and the other factor was 3x plus 4, okay? So when we do the opposite of expanding, we are factorizing, okay? So let's do some examples, all right? Now, if we have, for example, um, 3a plus 9, okay? To factorize, the first thing we do is look for a term or a number or variable that both terms can be divided by. Okay, now if we talk about a number that something can be divided by, this is a factor. Okay, and when we said, we said that this has to be something, a factor from both terms, okay? So we call this a common factor, okay? And what we are always looking for is the highest common factor. Okay, we want the highest one, so highest common factor. Now to start with, you don't need to worry too much about the highest part because we're going to make them fairly easy to begin with, all right? 
but later on you really need to be looking for the highest one. We'll talk about that later. So from 3a and 9, we need to think about something that 3a and 9 can both be divided by. Now this one's fairly simple because you know that both of those can be divided by 3. Okay, so what we do is we write the 3 down. Okay, just like up here with the, with the expanding brackets. So it's going at the front. Then we have our brackets. And we're going to work out what's going inside the brackets. Now, up here, you knew that 6x was 2 times 3x. Okay, so 3a is 3 times what? It's 3 times a. Okay, so we just put the a here. All right, so all we did was we took this first term and we divided it by this, and that goes in here. All right, now we do the same thing with the second term. Okay, so take the 9, divide it by whatever's at the front. Okay, so 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we're just going to write that in the second spot, a plus 3. And that's it. So this is factorizing. Okay, so let's do it a few more times. Um, let's say 2b plus uh, fifth, uh, 12. Okay, so again, think about a number that both of these can be divided by. Okay, so 2b and 12, a common factor, the highest common factor of those is going to be 2, because both 2b and 12 can be divided by 2. So we start by writing 2 and then the bracket. Okay, if you take 2b and you divide it by 2, then you're going to get 2b divided by 2 is just b. Okay, plus, then we do 12 divided by 2, and that's going to give us 6. Okay, and then we're finished. Okay, so that's it, 2 brackets, b plus 6. Our factors are 2, b, 2, and then b plus 6. Okay, and if you want to check this, so check it by expanding. Okay, if you expand and you get the original answer, then you know you've got this right. Okay, so we have 2 brackets, b plus 6. If we expand that, we get 2b, plus 12. All right, so that means yes, it worked. Okay, that this is it. Okay, so we just do various different examples of this. So if we had, for example, um, 10 plus 25c, okay, you need to think of a common factor of 10 and 25c. So you should be able to see that a common factor there they can both be divided by 5. <clears throat> 10 divided by 5 is 2. And then 25c divided by 5 is going to be 5c. Okay. We can make it a little bit harder. So if I say 2x squared plus x, or 2x squared plus 3x, let's make it a little harder. All right now in this case we did say way back because you can see that two and three there's no common factor there okay but we said a number or variable okay so back here we said or variable so what we can do here is we can take the variable as our factor so you can see that both 2x squared and 3x can be divided by x okay if you take 2x squared and you divide it by x, so let's do it over here, 2x squared, so that means 2x, 2 times x times x, and we're dividing that by x, and you should be able to see that we can cancel these out, because remember, x divided by x, that is equal to 1. Okay, so really what we're actually doing is replacing it with 1. Okay, so then we just get 2x plus 3x divided by x, so again, 3x over x, cancel the x's, replace them with 1's, and you just get 3. Okay, you guys don't need to show those steps every time, but sometimes for some people that might help you. 
okay this is it so let's make it another one um, 14 a plus uh, 35 B okay so what's a number or variable that both of them can be divided by well in this case both 14 and 35 can be divided by 7 okay a and B you can't divide them by anything all right or nothing that's common okay so 14 a divided by 7 is going to be 7 times what gives you 14 a well it's 2 a okay 35b divided by 7 is 5b okay and this is what we call factorizing so turning something into two factors or more it can be more but for now it's just going to be two okay that's that